Chirzaghi has given us these general bearing capacity equations. It means capacity of the soil, right? As given here, Q ultimate is equal to C and C gamma dash DF and Q plus 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 gamma dash B and gamma. Q alt is given as ultimate bearing capacity. C here is known as cohesion. And I know we talk about cohesion yesterday when dealing with the more coulombs failure criteria, right? And DF is your depth of the footing below the ground surface or below the existing grid. Okay. Gamma dash is your effective unit weight of the soil. So you know effective unit weight if you have come across with the water table then saturated unit weight minus unit weight of water is effective unit weight if there is no water table whatever unit weight is given in your problem that itself is your effective unit weight and you will take that unit weight to calculate the bearing capacity using these equations b is the width of the foundation Okay. So if your foundation is circular, then B would be your diameter of the foundation. Okay, width of the foundation, width of the street foundations, or if your foundation is isolated, and if it is a circular one, then B is equal to diameter. Your NC, NQ, and gamma are known as bearing capacity factors. And these bearing capacity factors depend upon only one swell parameter, that is your internal friction angle phi. We talk about C and phi using more Coulomb's theory as today. Right? So with the same concept we use to solve the problem in uh, shallow foundation here. These equations you need not to remember. It is provided in your handbooks, page number 263.